And yeah, I'll just get right into it. So I've done a little bit of this in the um, Empowered Product Committee and uh, life got kind of busy and I just, it took me a long time to resume getting back at it. So I'm going to kind of start this all fresh for anyone who uh, might have missed out on, on that previous training, but uh, just a little introduction about myself. Um, I am going to be 52 years old this year and I have had several uh, MLM uh, companies. Uh, the most successful one I had, I had 20,000 people in my organization and unfortunately I lost it in a divorce, um, but that's okay because the beautiful thing about these businesses is that you can lose them and you can start them all back up again. And the majority of the growth that, uh, that my ex-husband and I experienced was through direct sales. We weren't using the internet back then. We did a lot of presentations, like one-on-one -on -one group presentations. Um, we didn't do a lot of the home parties everybody talks about. I mostly did where I would book a room at a hotel you know, or an event or something and, uh, and do presentations that way. So I do have some experience with that. Uh, for the last just about five years, I have been selling vehicles at a local Chevy dealership. And for the last two years, I have received, um, for 2017, I received a bronze award of excellence uh, for selling the most amount of units uh, in my district, which is, which is pretty good considering we're a very small dealership. And then for 2018, I received a silver award and uh, I'm pushing for gold this year. So um, my sales process is extremely different than what they try to push on me as a salesperson. Um, I was taught to treat people the way you want to be treated. And I find that goes such a long, long way when it comes to direct sales. Nobody wants to be sold. And I always say that I don't want to sell anything to anyone. I just want to help them buy something. I'm going to help them buy a vehicle, right? I don't want to sell them something. I take my time. I really try to do my diligence in asking the right questions. And that's stuff that we'll be, we'll be covering later. But um, when you're trying to get information out of people, uh, oh, someone's, not, someone's not muted there. I think Liv, maybe? I can't remember how to unmute my I know and I'm not good at this either so <laughs> I can't I can't see the rest of uh I can only see my presentation um it should be oh oh shoot what did I do here okay I think that's better perfect okay don't know how I got my green line on there, but whatever, that's fine. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I have quite a bit of, of, of experience when it comes to direct sales. And my secret is to treat people the way that you want to be treated. And um, every person is going to be a little bit different. Um, I think that for purposes of Enagic, we can all agree that everyone is a prospect to us because we are selling water and everyone needs water. So uh, I'm quite excited to be able to tailor, uh, tailor these, uh, these courses that I'm going to be doing with you to the Enagic uh, distributors and, and helping people, you know, start, start ranking up, start leveling up your business and sell some more units. So tonight is just an introduction of uh, what this course is going to entail and because uh, it is quite, it, it's quite detailed. I don't let any of my uh, sales trainees, like the people that I train in my, in my workplace there at the dealership, nobody even talks to a customer for the first three to four weeks. Uh, I'm very, very, very picky like that because although you want to practice, there's a time and a place to practice. And uh, I think that it's, it's so important to, there's a few prerequisites that I have uh, to basically share with everyone. Um, the first part though of the whole course, we're gonna get into, uh, into in the, next, the next webinar. So we're gonna be going over prospecting. Let me see if I've got my next slide here, there we go. Uh, prospecting, and then we're gonna do qualifying. Qualifying, uh, I usually, actually prospecting, I'll break up into two different ones. This can be quite in depth because you've got a warm market and a cold market. And uh, remember that this is very different. Direct sales is different 
uh, than when you're doing your, your online uh, advertising and marketing, okay? Um, these are called prospects. People that reach out to you because of one of your ads uh, or from some kind of online advertising, that is a lead. Prospecting is where uh, the person does not know that you're going to approach them, basically, in a nutshell. So I do prospecting in two separate, two separate trainings, and then we're going to get into qualifying, how you pre-qualify people. And then we'll get into presenting, and then we're going to get into follow-up, and then we're going to get into objections. Uh, and then closing, and then my favorite is nurturing. So when we do presenting, some people ask me, well, why don't you do objections right after presenting? Well, the reason being is when you do your follow-up the way that I do my follow-up at the dealership, I don't get objections right away. It's, it's, and I'll get, into, I'll get into that later, but how I have this process laid out, steps one through seven, is... Um, it works very well for me, and it works very well for my trainees that uh, that I have at work as well too. So, anyway, now let's get uh, into the prerequisites. So, if you're serious about selling more Canda machines, selling more Ucon, uh, it is so important that these prerequisites, uh, at least uh, the first four, that you you do these things that you get to you you get comfortable and you get confident and one of them is understanding the importance of hydration so hydration is is a problem for probably 75 percent of people so we want to learn uh, all about hydration that's going to be on one of our next slides another prerequisite is going to be become a product of the product uh, I believe that if you are going to be representing a product, it needs to be a product that you believe in and a, a product that you, that you feel strongly about that you support and stand behind. And then, of course, uh, product knowledge. I don't, I don't let my salespeople talk to anyone until they know their product knowledge. It's so important because you have one opportunity to make a good first impression. So if you know your products and you know how to compare them when you're, when you're diving into the interview process and you're learning about your customer, you can kind of already have a mental idea of what machine is going to work best for them and for their budget and their situation. Okay. And then, oops, I think Lisa's phone is, needs to be here. Okay. All right, um, the other big thing too is that Enagic has very strict advertising policies, and po advertising policies and procedures. So it's very, very important that you go through, just go to Enagic.com, just log in uh, with, your, you know, with your username and, and, uh, and your password and go through the advertising policies and procedures procedures, all of them actually, not just the advertising. They're very, very strict on, on what they will allow. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to get into a little bit more, and these are just optional, is the um, uh, Enabjic web system websites. And, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about business cards too. Okay. But those are optional. So right now we're going to talk about the importance of hydration. This is where our whole premise for what we have to offer revolves around, if, if that makes any sense. Um, go to the next slide here. So 75% of North Americans do not consume enough water. I bet you if there was 10 people watching right now, I bet you anything that 70% uh, or seven out of 10 are not drinking enough water. Even though we have the machines and we understand that it's good for us, we don't necessarily practice it, right? Um, when you look at uh, the human body and how water is important, when your brain is 83%, your blood is 94%, uh, your heart is 75%, your lungs are 85%, your muscles 75%, your eyes 95%, your kidneys 83%. Uh, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that if you took a diagram of the circulatory system and compared it with the lymphatic system, the lymphatic fluid in our bodies is there's four times as much lymphatic fluid in our bodies as there is blood. And so that kind of gives you a good idea that, you know, water makes up a, a, a huge, a huge percentage of, of the human body. Um, you can kind of tell, I mean, you can tell when you get dehydrated, 
uh, you know, you're gonna get thirsty. I find my eyes will get dry. Um, my mouth can get dry. Uh, if your dehydration is severe enough, your uh, lips are going to become chapped. I notice the, the skin on my hands will get, I look like old lady hands when I'm dehydrated. And your muscles, you just, you just don't have enough energy. I know that when, if I was to do cardio in the mornings, and not have a really big glass of water before I do my cardio, I find myself very weak. But if I, you know, if I drink, um, you know, like three or four cups of water before, before hopping on the treadmill, um, I've got a lot more energy. So water definitely prevents uh, fatigue. It's going to prevent brain fog. You know, your all of your cells in your body uh, need water. And this is something that you want to learn how to talk about because as strange as it is i'm going to teach you later on how to talk about this how to ask questions um, how to use it in advertising so it's so important that we learn the importance of hydration learn to recognize the signs and uh, one of the biggest signs before i forget is when you take a pee so if you're going to go pee take a look at your urine if your urine is is pale or clear, then you know what you're rocking. You uh, you are relatively you know decently hydrated. The darker your urine, the darker or part of me, the the more um, dehydrated you are, and uh, you can start getting yourself into trouble when uh, when you get dehydrated. So just keep all this in mind. That I would like you to learn. Uh, learn how to talk about um, dehydration and proper hydration because it's a topic that absolutely every person on this planet should understand and a lot of people don't even realize that they have a problem and the cool thing is that once you educate them on this and they identify they didn't before they didn't know they have a problem now they do so they have identified now their own problem and lo and behold you or we have a solution for this problem so that is one of the biggest things about uh, hydration right so another thing and this is so so important is become a product of the product we need to become a living example of what we're selling so we can treat uh, or part of me we can preach to people you know drink your eight, uh, eight glasses of water a day I personally like to tell people to take their body weight and divide it in half and drink that many ounces a day. So if I was 150 pounds, um, you know, I'm going to be drinking what 75 ounces a day minimum. And that is, it's a, you can set it up as a target because some people have a really tough time trying to drink water, but you just got to do it. Stop being a pansy and just do it. And, you know, and, and I promise you that if you start drinking, like start slow, give yourself a week to work up to, you know, half your body weight in ounces in water every day, just kind of start increasing it a little by little. So that after a week that you're, that you're at that full amount and, and coach your, your prospects, your people too, as well too, which we'll get into later. Um, the other thing is that if you start drinking this water, best thing you can really do for your business and yourself is go on a health kick. You know, give yourself 30 days and say, you know, I'm going to walk every night or every morning. I'm going to drink nothing but my water or tea made with my water. And I'm going to eat lots of fresh fruits and veggies and really try to get on some kind of a health kit. Because what's going to happen is you're going to notice the benefits of the water that much quicker. And the awesome thing that I really love about it when I am doing, uh, you know, a, a health, good health kick with the water is, is my skin. Um, you know, being going to be 52 here pretty soon, I get a lot of compliments on my skin because I can tell when I don't drink water, it gets like wrinkly and yicky. But when I'm drinking lots of water, my skin, it, it looks like it's glowing. I don't seem to get any pimples because yes, at 51, I still get pimples, which sucks that you have wrinkles and pimples, but the water definitely helps. Um, so anyway, try to become a product of the product. Uh, the other thing too is that uh, 
you are using, for example, your Ucon. I write off my Ucon auto ship or my, what I pay for my Ucon because I am becoming a product of the product. I am at living advertisement for the Ucon and how, for example, how it helps me with my joints. You know, I can go up and down stairs a lot better when I take it religiously and drink my water. So become a product of the product. All right, guys, that's so important. The next thing that is huge in sales, I don't care if you're selling pens or water machines or you're selling the AI opportunity or things on Amazon, whatever it is you want to do, you need to know your product knowledge and you need to know it inside out. We don't have that many machines. It's not too hard. There's some really great YouTube videos. Uh, most people I find that joined Enagic through Gaz um, or recently as of recently through AI, that they have not taken the time to go through the Enagic.com website. Uh, when, when you do that, you're going to be directed. You have an opportunity to go to the... Um, Oh my goodness, the EWS, um, Enagic Web Systems uh, site. And there you're going to find everyone that's bought a machine or has bought a product is going to have a free um, little website there. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's something that you can get by if you're just kind of wanting to poke away at your business. But if you're really serious about, uh, you know, doing this as a direct sales type of thing, you're going to want to look at, uh, at upgrading that EWS free site to a paid subscription one. But for right now, I just tell everybody, go on to magic.com or go to the EWS site and you're going to find all the information that you need to know there about the product knowledge. You want to be able to understand how our machines are working and to use the proper terminology and verbiage when you're talking about them. And you need to be able to explain this uh, to other people. So once again, uh, there's some really great videos. Um, one of my favorite people that is promoting a magic right now is a lady named Amanda Bobbitt. And if you search her on YouTube, she's got some fantastic stuff. I absolutely love her. She's, she's just a, a great person to learn from. So as I said to before, um, you want to understand how to compare the various machines so that when you're asking questions to your, you know, find, getting answers from your prospects uh, about their life and what their needs are, that you can already have it in your head what kind of machine they know they need so that you can you can recommend their options to them. You also really need to know how to explain the maintenance schedule and the cleaning process. And I think it's a great thing for all of us who are going to be, you know, promoting this in direct sales, or even if you're doing it with, with AI or gas, whatever, actually just gas is gone now, so AI, um, do a video and show somebody how, how to clean their machine and to explain a little bit of the maintenance schedules that need to be done, different filter changes and, and things like that. So when I sell a vehicle at the dealership, um, my process from start to finish is, you know, I'm interviewing, I'm interviewing someone. I'm, I'm trying to present them with the best options that I believe will work for them or their, to fit their needs and then their wants. And, and then once the process has gone through where they're purchasing a vehicle, I make sure that I show them the features and the benefits. I do that actually before I'm completed with them. But once they've purchased a vehicle, I make sure that I set aside time and, you know, go through the features and show them how to use all the options. And I think it's so important that let's say that tonight, all of you found a buyer. So you got someone who's going to buy a machine. You need to follow up and make sure that when that customer gets their machine, that you're going to set up other chat or a phone call or you're going to make a video, which I think videos are great. And you could do it specific to each machine. Maybe they're buying a K8. So you could do a video describing the K8 setup, um, even videos hooking up the, the machines to the taps. That always seems to be uh, a big thing for people. It freaked me out, I don't know, for six months. I didn't hook up my machine till the week before Christmas or I think it was November because we were having the empowered Christmas party at my house and I was embarrassed. I still did not have my machine uh, set up on my counter. It was in a box in the closet. So 
Um, if you can learn how to uh, follow up with your customers that way, like, hey, did you get your machine? Great, and kind of explain to them what their, what their schedule would be for maintenance and a cleaning process, that sort of thing. And last but not least with the product knowledge is I think that everyone should be able to confidently perform one of the live demos. Um, one of the demos that really got my boyfriend, Marty, um, for those of you that know Marty, he is like redneck as redneck can be. But when he saw the video of when they were cleaning the tomatoes, he was he was there the light bulb went on and then when they started showing you know they do the other one where you have the different drinks like the soda the juice the different kinds of bottles waters like man he's so funny he'll go to the grocery store and if someone in front of him is buying bottled water he starts to tell them what color it was on the ph and like you shouldn't drink that like it's so everyone everyone has their different things of their aha moments but those demos if you can do one for yourself and videotape it and share it with people, you're gonna go a long way to helping educate others and capturing their attention, right? Because that's what it did for him. He's kind of hard to capture his attention unless it's got something to do with driving around the bush and hunting or you know something like that. So for him to, to become interested in a water machine kind of blows my mind. So um, try to know your product knowledge, try to be able to do those demos, you know, that that sort of thing. Um, what have I got here next? Next, okay, the advertising policies and procedures. Nagic is actually very, very strict. So there are a few different uh, Facebook groups and things like that out there right now where I see people are trying to figure out how to uh, advertise for Enagic, um, you know, through the paid ads and stuff. And that is something that I feel like AI is going to be doing in future trainings. I'm not 100% sure, but I kind of, I think that they probably will. Um, but as far as, as far as any trainings go, Nagic has a few in their EWS site. Um, but the biggest thing that I can suggest to, to everybody is go through those policies and procedures because independent distributors are fully responsible for any verbal and written statements regarding the products. So, um, you know, you gotta, be, you gotta be really on top of what you're throwing out there to the world because uh, if you're against uh, policies and procedures, you are gonna have your distributorship taken away, which really would suck. Um, Enagic does not promote, pardon me, promote, Enagic <laughs> does not, this, this is just sparkling water, it's not wine, it should be though. Um, Enagic does not permit the use of its copyrights, designs, logos, trade names, trademarks, etc., without written permission. So there are a couple places uh, in the EWS areas there, uh, sites that you can use. Uh, there's the logos that you can download. Um, when Carly did the uh, empowered brochures for the uh, product committee there last year. I know that, uh, you know, we have to send them in to compliance and have them have them approved. It's not a scary thing. Just you want to just make sure that you're giving yourself enough time uh, because they can be a little bit slow. Sometimes they seem to be quite quick, quick like if you call them. Um, I, I did call one day for something and I just sent an email and I attached a photo to a graphic I wanted to use and, and right away they were just hunky dory great it was went through quick so if you wanted to design your own business cards or your own flyers or anything like that uh you can you just have to send a draft into anagic.com into their support so that they can uh they can check and make sure that it's compliant so don't let that deter you just just make sure that you uh that you have written permission okay one of the hugest biggest things and this is big for facebook as well too is absolutely no health claims. We are not doctors. I mean, if you are a doctor, there's probably gray areas around wording and verbiage. You could you could influence people to believe that sort of thing, but for the majority of us, uh, no, we have to be extremely careful with absolutely uh, no health claims, right? We can't say, oh, if you drink this water, uh, your headaches will go away. Um, you can do personal testimonies where you can say something to the effect of, 
I suffered with migraines for years and I started drinking the water. And after about 30 days of drinking the water, I realized that I hadn't had a headache in a few weeks. You know, you can say something like that, but you have to be extremely careful with the health claims when you're advertising or if you were doing a live event or, you know, something like that. Uh, the other thing that Enagic is really strict on is distributors are prohibited from creating any independently designed websites relating to the Enagic business or products. So I do believe that in the product or in the uh, offer specific training for Enagic that they will have more information uh, coming out. Uh, I, I believe they're going to start doing, you know, AI is just so new and and they've just been, you know, doing such a great job of trying to get all the information out to us as quickly as they can. But I feel like they will be doing more offer specific training with Enagic and uh, websites and funnels and, you know, different things like that because they'll be partnering with Enagic and working closely with them and learning all the policies and procedures so that, uh, that we remain compliant. Um, but for now, while we're starting out, we don't have that training. We're just kind of going out there on our own. We just have to, uh, if you're going to use a website, you must use the EWS uh, websites. So when you uh, go onto your EWS, if you are going to purchase an upgrade, um, the one thing that I suggest is creating a domain name. Now, I've used GoDaddy for many, many years, and I love their support system, like 24-7, I can call them, they do all my masking, they do everything for me, I love them. Uh, with my AI training, I have purchased an Atoma uh, website and a domain through them, <clears throat> and I'm still learning how all that stuff works, because I'm still not finished level one. I will by the end of the week. <laughs> um, but anyway, for direct sales, it is so much easier if you have a website that you can send your interested prospects to that have all the products and the prices right there at their fingertips, it eliminates questions that they have for you. Um, Carly and I had collaborated there, you know, uh, we're talking about the Empowered by Water. We have the group that we do, the, the live presentations that we're, that we're still doing. If anyone is, is interested, we'll touch on that after. But um, uh, the domain that I have is Empowered by Water. So I can link that domain that I purchased through GoDaddy and I can link it to my EWS uh, websites that I have purchased. I would highly recommend going to EWS, check out your free one, and then check out what the upgrades are. I think I have, I'm trying to think now, I have, there's one for restaurants, which is really great. I love that one. There's, um, there's actually quite a few different, different uh, website styles that you can, that you can upgrade to or all of them, whatever you want to do. But I would strongly recommend thinking of a really, uh, really great uh, domain name. Try to put some thought into it before you purchase it. Cause I know I'm really bad for getting excited and going and purchasing domains and I got like so many domain names. It's just, it's just crazy. I spend a lot of money when really I only have to spend a little bit. So think of a really good domain name. You can link it to your EWS site. And then that way, when you are ready to send people to your site, say your neighbor or, I don't know, someone on Facebook reaches out to you and says, hey, I heard you sell those water machines. You go, yeah, no problem. Here's my website, right? And then you can just send them, you know, uh, whatever it is, empowerbywater.com. And I usually tell them, you know, where they can go on the website to find the products and learn more about the products and, and the pricing. So when I got someone that's just wanting information right away, super easy, it's totally worth the 29 bucks or whatever it costs a month, because again, it's a write-off, right? All these websites and stuff like this, this is all write-offs. And you're in this business to make money. And we all know it takes money to make money. If you are doing this business, how do I word this? If you're doing this business as a hobby, it's going to pay you as a hobby. If you take it seriously and you invest a little bit of money, like, yes, we pay our $99 for our AI tuition every month. 
so valuable. Yes, I buy, a, I bought a few domains, very valuable. Yes, I have spent money on EWS websites. Yes, I've spent money on business cards. Yes, I spent money on this, on that, and the other thing. Why? Because together those things are going to create a more professional uh, business. Like people are just gonna take me a little bit more seriously. You know, I have a professional website. I believe in a professional email. I have an email that we use for empowered stuff. It's empowered by water. I think it's info at empoweredbywater.com. I don't like using like uh, empoweredbywater at gmail.com. I don't like Gmail, Hotmail, all that kind of stuff. Because when I'm buying something or researching someone is offering a product, say it's an ad on Facebook and I'm looking at it, I don't want to respond to someone that has a Gmail account or a Hotmail account or an MSN or a Yahoo. I don't take them seriously because they're not taking their business seriously enough and I'm a little bit skeptical. So it's worth, it costs me seven bucks to have an email. It costs me, if I say 29 bucks, whatever it is to have my website. That's really not that much. And what it does is it makes me professional and it gives me um, a place to send my prospects to and for them to feel confident in emailing me or you know or whatever so think about that kind of stuff um, the EWS the free site that you get it has its own little link and pretty much every MLM company I've ever been in has a link that you can maybe the link is not the right word but it's something that you have to type into the address bar they can't just google it so you want because people like me, I don't know how to, I didn't know how to do that for the longest time. And I'd struggle with, I can't get this page to open. I can't find it. Well, it's because I didn't know I had to go into the address bar. I was trying to Google it. So if you, if you create your domain name and you link everything up, it's so much easier for people to just Google you and to find you and to connect with you. Right? So that's, that's the importance of a unique donate domain name. So business cards, there are a lot of people in our industry, in the online industry, that ah, business cards are foo-foo-y and you don't need them. But I tell you what, in my auto sales, I get a crap ton of business from people who have my card or found their card. I get referrals because when I sell something to somebody, I give them a few extra cards and I tell them, um, you know, I'm not really allowed to advertise this, but if you send somebody to me and they purchase a vehicle, I'm going to send you a nice thank you. You know, it's against BSA rules. Uh, I'm not allowed to pay for referrals, but you know, I have some gray areas and, and doing, you can do this with the magic as well too. So giving people a few extra business cards. I have a couple of my customers that I swear to God, they make their vehicle payments every other month just with my referral fees because you know once they figure out hey she's gonna she's gonna give me a nice thank you uh to send business her way and there's no reason that we can't uh strategically do that with this business so business cards are a great thing they say that they get thrown away but i tell you i I like to do little polls with my customers to gather information. And one of the things that I have found is that a lot of people keep my card. They keep my card because I invite them to openly contact me with any questions or concerns. Anyone I've given my card to, I have a record of their contact information and I will follow up with them and just say hi. Hey, do you still have that card? I just wanted to let you know, you know, that I'm doing a promotion or something, right? It's just another way to follow up. Even though they haven't expressed interest, but they've taken my card, right? Or whatever. So business cards are huge. Uh, you can do them. I think my last ones I did through Vistaprint. I just sent the, um, the draft into, into an adjic. Um, you can also get them on an in the EWS site. And they're okay. It just, it just depends on what your style is. If you get them through the EWS site, uh, you can get them to match your websites that you upgrade to because there's different, there's different styles and views and you can get promotional material like banners and flyers and business cards to match the theme and style of the website that you've chosen. So they're pretty cool. There's some, there's some pretty neat ones there. 
so um, yeah, this is like I say, this is just a bit of a, a, a introduction today as to what we're going to be what we're going to be covering. I can't stand long webinars. An hour is kind of like my max because it's very difficult for me to watch. Uh, there's so many that I want to watch. I always have to watch replays. So I'm going to try to keep this a little bit short. Um, so I'm just going to get into the, into the summary. So we're to consistently drink our water every day. We're going to learn the products inside out until you can confidently speak about them. You're going to review the Enagic policies and procedures, and I recommend doing that monthly. Same thing with the Facebook policy and procedures. Very, very important to review those every month. Um, I know some of the people in our organization are getting, you know, having some stuff shut down and maybe it's, we're thinking maybe it's because they have ads that have been running for a long time that were really producing well or doing whatever, but Facebook's policies change, so they shut them down. So always make sure that you're a responsible business owner and making sure that you are up to date with all those policies and procedures. And know how to perform a demo and explain the importance in the different pH waters. You know, it's, it's so important. Our water is not just a great thing to drink. It's a, it's a great thing to use for a degreaser and a cleaner. And, you know, my plants, I'm, I'm really having great success with, with my plants this year with the water. Um, you also want to experiment. You know, it's taken me a bit of time to finally step out of my comfort zone on my K8 and start, you know, doing things with my water. I purchased some of the black spray bottles. Um, I purchased some water sharing bags, which, uh, which I, I love those. Those things are great if you want to share the water with people, but we're going to get into that uh, with our prospecting. Um, you want to explore those in Agic Web uh, system site. And like I said, I've already talked about that. Like consider upgrading to, to the, um, the paid monthly subscription. And consider purchasing business cards. So when, when I go to a party, I always take cards with me, but I don't talk about any business there. When I've learned how to drum up conversations that seem innocent, that I can lead a conversation to, the end result is somebody asking for my card. And I will give them a card now. So, okay, today, you know, this isn't the time or place. We're at a party here, but here's my card. Uh, or here, let me take your contact info and I'll give you a call Monday or, you know, whatever. Always respect social events as social events, but you'll learn how to start sneaking in your cards here and there. And um, you'll be surprised at, uh, at what a good card can do for you. So I think that is the last slide that I have here. I'm just gonna go out of the screen share. Um, the next webinar, and I'll, I'll talk to Carly and Allie and see if these Mondays are, are good, um, is I'm gonna start getting into the prospecting part of it. Because there's, there's prospecting, you've got cold market and you've got warm market and in a nutshell, we're going to start with the warm marketing because we're, we're going to be practicing. But I'm going to stop this screen share here so I can see. I don't even know where my mouse is. This is crazy. It's not working. Where's my mouse? Okay. All right. So where is the chat? Just see if, if anybody has any questions at all. Uh, let me see here. Oh, hey everyone. Oops, no, no. Some people have headaches, dry lips. Um, there's only that's only three Cantigo bottles a day. That's right, Tara. To get enough water, three Cantigo bottles a day. Cantigo bottles are awesome too. They don't spill, and you don't waste your you don't waste your Kenyan water. Um, has anyone else got any questions before we kind of wrap things up here? Just kind of curious. I wasn't sure how to do a QA and a on this. I think I have to be in a different Zoom platform for webinars. This is just a meeting or something. So this yeah. is good for me. <laughs> this is perfect, Kathy. Honestly, I think that was like such a good intro. Now you've left me wanting more when you were like, okay, well, that's it. I'm like, keep going. Okay. Uh, so that's really good. I feel like Mondays are a good night. There isn't any interference with any of the other um, calls within the platform. So we can start to kind of make this a regular series for more people to tune into and to start to really, like we can log this, like once you finish the recording, we can save it, upload it, 
and have it logged for anyone to reflect back on to learn more about this. I think as we go through the steps over the next few weeks, that's when it'll really deep dive into how to be successful with the direct selling. So I'm pumped. Yeah, I'm super pumped too, because I will say there's a lot of you have heard about the 80-20 rule in sales. I don't like that rule. I disagree. In my vehicle sales, I'm more like 75-25, where I win 75%. And I'm not saying I get them right off the bat, but I think, Ali, you actually mentioned something like this in our chat one day, whereas follow up, follow up, follow up. It could be a year, it could be two years and you get no response from them, but all of a sudden, one day, they just start, they magically appear to you. And I find that with my, with my, uh, my contacts and my, with my sales job too, with the dealership, man, I just always follow up. I just always touch base until they tell me to stop. And very rarely do people tell you to stop. Because if they've told me, oh, hey, Kathy, sorry, we've purchased or we've done something else, I'd be like, hey, no problem. Enjoy your new ride. Look after it for me because one day you'll trade it in. And then so I'm, they think I'm done with them. But then in six months, I follow up or, th or three months, I'll follow up and say, hey, how are you liking that vehicle? Right. And I keep that relationship going. So if you if you be diligent in learning all these steps one by one. And sometimes people will ask me, well, I just want to, you know, I want to go ahead and learn how to do this. I, I won't do it for you because I'm not doing you a justice or a good service because you need to learn these steps in the orders that I present them because they're what, it's the order that I found. It's the roadmap that seems to work really well. And patience, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not going to be a kick-ass salesperson, you know, in, in three or four or six weeks, Right. Those prerequisites I talked about tonight are so vital to your success in direct sales. You, uh, you, know, you, need how to, you need to know how to explain the machines, how to explain the water, uh, the importance of hydration. One of the things that I see lacking with a lot of the video presentations on Enagic, like if you go to YouTube and you're watching all the different uh, presentations, I feel they should be starting with hydration, a quick, you know, short little part where it's hydration. So all of a sudden you're putting a thought into someone's head. Oh, maybe I'm dehydrated. Maybe they don't even know they have a problem. Right. And then all of a sudden you created the idea that they have a problem. <laughs> That's not really great because we are problem solvers right? You're not salespeople, you're problem solvers. So when you create uh, the idea in their head, when you, they understand they have a problem and we have the solution for them, they're more apt to listen to you if they think they have a problem. So it's so important to learn all that stuff and to learn all these steps. So um, anyway, on that note, guys, I don't see anything extra. I really appreciate everybody's patience while I'm learning all this techie stuff. I'm considering I didn't know how to turn this thing on six months ago and I had to call Carly every time. Uh, I'm quite proud of myself for getting this done. So thank you, Ali, for your guidance. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll, uh, we'll be announcing. I'll figure out uh, what the date would be. I'm thinking maybe every two weeks. What do you think, Allie? Like, do you think every two weeks would be fine to do like twice a month? I think so. I think if there's the demand for it and people are showing up and being consistent with it and we're seeing that drive, then absolutely. Okay, perfect. So we'll do that. So I'll get this figured out what the next date will be. And uh, until then, guys, good luck with your prerequisite homework. And I really look forward to seeing you all on the, uh, the next uh, webinar, which is on prospecting your warm market. So have a wonderful evening. Now I have to figure out how to get out of here. So <laughs> I guess I will stop recording first and then end meeting, I guess. Okay, guys.